Yo, what's going on? Nizion here, bringing you all another video. Now, in today's video, I'll be showing you a best possible way to make FIFA coins in FIFA 20 without really trading. But before I get started into today's video, if you aren't new around here, as always, hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications to keep updated and join the Nizion Nation. Now, without further ado, let's get started with today's FIFA 20 tutorial. So. Once you get on to FIFA 20, a lot of actual FIFA content creators uh, know this method. It's a very, very simple and popular method used by many, many people across the FIFA community. And I just want to essentially trade or show you guys this method, which I like to call SPC trading. Now, it's very, very easy to do, and you'll actually get this done by just casually playing the game. Now, say for example, you go through division rivals and foot champion rewards, maybe you have some untradeable players and you don't know what to really do with them and there's not a lot of great SPCs out like currently at this moment. I don't really like a lot of the SPCs that are out right now. But the best way that you guys can be making coins by doing this SPC trading method essentially, it's not really trading anything. You're not buying cards for less and you're selling them for high. You're essentially doing these packs that are very low in price that you can buy at less than their actual value and go ahead and sell them for more. Now, there are, there are actually a lot of specific SPCs. You can look through all the player league SPCs. You'll be able to see in between them that there's a lot of great packs such as Mega Packs, Prime Gold Players Packs, Small Prime, Small Rare Players Packs, and Premium Gold Players Pack, just like you see on the screen right here with the FC Schalke. And it's very simple to do. Essentially, I'll leave a link down below in the description to footbin.com where you'll be able to see the cheapest solutions for these SPCs. I recommend to choosing like one SPC, maybe not from the top. Uh, whenever you're searching up an SPC, try looking at like a not so recent SPC solution so they're not very inflated in price. And essentially what you do is you buy the players for the SPC, you get them into the squad, and then you just go ahead and submit the packs. Now I recommend to always just doing them on the good packs my favorite packs from these spcs are definitely going to be prime gold players packs uh, premium gold players packs as well as small rare players packs and uh, sometimes you do get some uh, lucky packs maybe in like electrum prime electrum players pack or something like that but that obviously comes down to your luck and i do recommend getting like packs like these for example right here i spent like uh, seven to eight thousand coins and I got myself an 85 ran now obviously this is my luck and is just random essentially you don't know some days you'll get some really good players and some days you'll get some really bad players but at the end of the day even through those packs you can go ahead and recycle those players back into those specific player SPCs now that's what I'm just waiting for with EA to release all of the leagues in uh, the player league SPC so we can all be able to actually complete these SPCs very cheaply by getting these players even all these pack pulled players right here that you get in the pack you can go ahead and recycle them like I've said before but it all comes down to your luck as well as like how good uh, or how much money you actually put into the SPC I recommend just using players in your club first and then working upwards because usually some people that are trying to do this method don't have as much coins because if you have a larger variety of coins then I probably recommend going into like icon trading or investing with some players instead of doing this method because that'd be more foolproof in the future as a trading me uh, method in general but if you're trying to look for a way to make coins without really playing any games or actually trading this is probably the best way that you guys can actually go ahead and make coins in FIFA 20 ultimate team now guys that's been it for today's video if you guys have any questions comments or concerns be sure to leave it in the comment section down below and I'll be sure to reply to all your guys's comments down there now that's been it for today's video. It's been your boy Nizion and I'll be catching you all in my next video. Peace out.